What's up guys? It is Carly here bringing you day 16 of my 31 Days of Horror 2021 and today we are moving right along with the Mummy films and next up in this little pack here we have The Mummy's Tomb from 1942. Um, this movie literally only runs 60 minutes. It's legit just an hour. I think that might be the shortest, well I guess host from last year um, that uh, you know, over the camera movie they made that was like 54 minutes, but this is definitely one of the shortest movies I've ever watched. And uh, basically, The Mummy's Tomb, it does have uh, continuity to The uh, Mummy's Hand, and um, it's supposed to be 30 years in the future from the events of The Mummy's Hand, and uh, you have this the guy, one of the guys that was involved um, with, you know, the events of the mummy's hand, uh, kind of telling the story to his family of what all happened and everything, and uh, it's it's rather funny because he's telling the story and you're getting flashbacks that are just scenes from uh, the mummy's hand, and it, it was funny to me because I was like thinking, is this going to be like Silent Night, Deadly Night Part Two before that ever happened? Because you know, the film is only 60 minutes long and that takes up like probably about 10 minutes of it. So, you know, technically any new footage is like 50 minutes long. But anyway, so he's recounting the story, which, you know, it's fine, whatever. And he's telling it to his family. And then that's kind of it. And, um, you know, this mummy ends up coming back and he's kind of seeking revenge on what happened to the princess and everything that they were trying to find in the mummy's hand. So uh, the mummy kind of ends up roaming around uh, this neighborhood and ends up terrorizing this family. So that's uh, kind of what goes on in this movie. Um, I I really enjoyed this one too. I'm not gonna lie. I think I liked it. I, de I definitely liked it a little bit more than the hand. Like I said, it's uh, very short, um, so it gets right to the point kind of and uh, doesn't drag really in any parts um you know you do have that beginning where it's a recount of the first one i, I want to say first one but i guess technically the second movie and um it while it's funny it's still kind of nice because it's like okay you know i can get a recap of what happened even though i literally just watched that movie um the night prior but anyway um i i like this one i thought it was uh creepy at times because you do you have the mummy kind of roaming around outside this house and it's kind of just scary seeing him in the neighborhood i guess type of setting and you have the family sitting inside and then they're like hearing strange noises outside and uh then you just see the mummy kind of hiding behind trees and such and people go to investigate it reminds me of a movie that you would see you know in more modern times even like a slasher like halloween or something where there's just someone stalking outside and you know the family inside is getting creeped out and hearing sounds but they don't know and they don't see the creature until he's like actually inside their house attacking them so i really like that um those little parts of the film um the look of the mummy is also really good i think in these movies uh, he's very just uh creepy in my opinion um they, they do very well with him you know it seems like a simple kind of get up i mean you know how hard really is it to make a mummy design but at the same time it's very effective and i i find him rather creepy and menacing he almost has like these it looks like his eyes are just black and that's one of the scariest elements to it i think so um you get a lot of that in the film and a lot of mummy action so i i do enjoy that i believe in the original mummy you don't really get too much stuff going on with the mummy itself and i think i was pretty bored by that one um i'm curious to go back and try to watch that again just because it's been a few years and um you know that that one did come out way earlier than the other film so it's definitely interesting but anyway with the mummy's tomb um i really liked it i thought it was creepy i thought it had good atmosphere um good characters in it and like i said it kind of it, it, you know, it doesn't waste your time or anything. It gets right to the point. So I would actually give this one an 8 out of 10. Um, with the mummy sand, I think I gave that a 7.5 out of 10. So for me, this one was a little bit more enjoyable. So I decided to give it half a point up. So 8 out of 10, the mummy's tomb. Thank you guys once again for joining me here for day 16 of my 31 Days of Horror 2021. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow for day 17.